told you to drive it, huh? That's right. Yeah, I mean, I'll, I'll, I'll get the key for that. I just move it up. All right, so this has been loaded for a couple of weeks. I was supposed to take this to uh, Carlisle to supplement the load, but had too much going on at home and didn't want to be tied to towing that many trailers back and forth to Carlisle. So I'm gonna get this unloaded because I need the trailer because we're gonna go do something really fun tomorrow. I had a YouTube subscriber reach out to me, an older gentleman in New Jersey, and he said, hey, I have a 62 Impala convertible in my backyard. Is that something you'd be interested in? And I said, yes, I would very much be interested in that. He's had this car for 40 years. It's not an SS, it's just, 62 rag white red gut v8 somebody has changed it over to a four speed it has 63 buckets in it it originally was just a v8 bench seat impala still a good car even though it was outside in new jersey he kept it like really really well covered convertible tops no good obviously got some rust in the trunk but the floors and the rockers and everything else look good we're heading out there tomorrow so we're gonna get this trailer unloaded everybody so we are getting ready i'm all hooked up here we're gonna get wheels up here and rolling towards new jersey we're going to jersey city new jersey 62 impala convertible definitely something i want to buy so we made a deal and now we're going to start the uh, six hour ride out east here to jersey city we're going to pull this car out of his backyard get it loaded up bring it back home and do our normal thing to it so let's hit the road offense to anybody watching this i just do not enjoy being in new jersey or new york city i'm from the city and i just don't i'm sure if i lived here i'd understand how the streets and stuff work but like it's very tight and everybody in new jersey drives awful and if anybody thought homewood where we work at is bad in pittsburgh homewood's looking like use the right lane to turn right, right onto i-280 east toward new jersey turnpike so in new york and new jersey there's a lot of roads that you can't go on with the trailer you can't go on over certain weights you can't do this can't do that blah 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 i don't know I'm trying to read the road signs it's unclear whether i could be on the jersey turnpike or not so we're just going to go for it super close but he lives on a dead end street so probably probably looking at the map it looks like i can do a drive by i don't know there's a school he lives across the street from a school so it's noon hopefully they don't do recess or anything uh we're gonna be okay i can drive down it it's wider than all the other ones yeah i got plenty of space sweet or escape in that oh, crv which I'll be fine. I'll be golden to get in there. This is a nice area here. I had to drive through some rough stuff, but this is nice in here. This is getting bad. Really? Good thing I got a uh, driveway. Yeah. Because it's hard to look for a parking area. Yeah. It's bad. All right, I'm going to get backed in here. Hopefully they don't do recess or anything. 
What wheels does she want? The fronts? Yeah. Okay, good. Yeah, because okay. these, these are... This came with a Chevelle. Okay. So, I forgot a jack, but what I can do is... I got, a, I got a jack right there. You got a jack? Okay, cool. So, we can do it to pull it out. Okay. And yeah, we'll get it where it's more open and then right. we'll, I got the wheels. I got to steal your lug nuts. No, no problem. Okay. No, no, no. That's, that's the least of the things. Okay. I'm going to give you the... The, the old radiator too. Okay, cool. Uh, oh, there's the whole front end. Beautiful. Front okay. So there's the West Coast grill you were talking about. Yes. Okay. Okay. Gotcha. Uh, when I bought it, this is what it had. Yeah, it's this... pretty cool. It even has a lock yes. on it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I've seen that before. And uh, and then I bought this one at the flea market. Okay. So I said, I'd rather have that, you know, okay. just in case I want to came. Cool. And then this goes to... Oh, a little trim too? Yes. Okay. Uh, yeah, and this that's goes, the back seat. No, no, that goes on the on, oh, on the on front the, with the glove compartment. Okay. Usually, usually goes. The, okay. This is uh, there's a shield there. This is I it. got you. That looks like a speaker cover here for the back. No, seat the speaker goes in the back. In yeah. the back of the seat. So you have the right back seat, right? Yes. Okay. Right here. Okay. And even cool. the speakers in here. Good. Okay. Cool. <laughs> and this, uh, I bought this new trim. Okay. That goes on the back of the trunk. Okay. On the, the trunk. Yeah. Gotcha. So I bought a new piece. Nice. You know what I mean? Okay. Uh, and this is a. Uh, oh, I am gonna give you a, a, a fender too. A fender too that I bought. <laughs> okay. Cool. Well, the bed of the truck will be empty after we get the wheels out, so that'll be good. I'm gonna put all of that loose stuff in the bed of the truck. I don't want to mess with that trunk floor. Uh, he had th he had this these in it, so you know that's yours. That's cool. Yeah. Okay. Cool. This is the see see the guy when I bought it. I don't know what he was thinking about, but he had everything fur. Sure. That was the time you bought it in the 80s, right? Late yeah, 70s. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. everything. You see, was this, I couldn't take this glue off. <laughs> I couldn't okay. take the glue off. And then okay. this panel here, I tried to take it off. I said, "Oh my god, it ripped." Ah, uh, so okay. this is the part, the back top piece. Okay. And this is the. Gotcha. I want to check out the car. I want to make sure these. There's a couple. Important there was a. Uh, you know, there was a, a raccoon in here. That's okay. So these are really important, the pinch yeah, wells. Yeah, yeah. And they're on there, so that's good. Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, I guess we should get it uncovered, and then we can start um, maybe trying to move it closer to the trailer. Wow. You know, uh, two weeks ago, I, I, 1990, 1990, those, uh, what do they call it? <laughs> I said, maybe, you know. Yeah. All right, so I was a little nervous about bringing this trailer into Jersey because it is so long, but after looking on the satellite, kind of knew what I was working with, and now we're really excited because this is the trailer you need to do this. Just fits in here, but got a ton of winch lanes. This car sits really low. T8 axis. All these these T-series trailers that tilt have a nice load angle, so a wireless remote. Shove us on pretty quick. <laughs> Told you to drive it, huh? We realized I screwed the seat up in my truck pretty good. Control arm. Give me that drag link. Okay. Thank you. It's been a long time since I've hit the gym. This up down stuff today is gonna get old. Wow, that door feels good. We're gonna wanna probably tape that VIN tag. It blew one rivet. Okay, she was in here, so it's good I checked. We're gonna do the same thing we did with the last one. We're gonna cut that rope, let this piece flop down, and then we'll cut away everything that's loose. Okay, here we go.
we're going to change these front wheels. We're in a good spot. I just wait to get the door open. Yeah, it corrodes to the steel. See all the marks? Oh, yeah. What time you guys left? Yeah, I mean, I'll, I'll, I'll get the key for that. I just move it up. I, yeah, that'll work. I'd have a lot more subscribers if we showed every time I got screwed on a car. Oh, I've had dozens of trips where I drove like this far and didn't get it. Yeah, there was a Chevelle one. I thought he was talking about when we were in Ohio. Oh, looking, the, looking at that guy. Oh, so. yeah, 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 that guy. All that Chevy so, stuff, all his postcards and stuff. Yeah, so that guy was a pain in the butt too. But I knew that that guy was going to be a pain. I didn't go there expecting to buy anything. Because my buddies had a real hard time buying off of that guy. It's a guy that got, cheating, got caught cheating on his wife as soon as we left. Oh, yeah. <laughs> the wife decided to pull in. His wife showed up. His wife showed up. Nice. With the streetwalker. How'd that go over? Not very well. As soon as we left. No, this is the knife that took my finger off. It did too bad. I had to get six stitches from that knife. Getting stitches first day of vacation. <laughs> all right, so we don't want this all flapping down the interstate, so we're going to cut all this stuff off of here. First time I hauled a convertible, I left the old top up. And oddly enough, that's coming out of New Jersey. You want to put that in a truck for me? Tell you what, you never find an Impala typically that's so solid you can stand here. Any convertible from the East Coast, it's hard to find one you can stand right here. Is that your bug screen or your raccoon screen, huh? Yeah, raccoon, that didn't help. No, she left them out and I forgot to close the door and right away she's sniffing, right? I hear barking, right? In here. I say, how the hell did she get in the trunk? So she found a raccoon in there. So now they're fighting in there, right? And I'm calling her name and then she, I said, let me get the key to it. I'll open it up. So I got the key, I open it up, and she's still still like this. Surprise, it's me, right? <laughs> so I said, what the hell are you doing in here? And then the raccoon ran, ran inside and came off through here. So I see, I see no more seats. I said, oh my God, perfect, brand new seats. Okay, I think we got enough to that we're not gonna have a big plume of stuff behind us. Okay. Uh, 
uh, this stuff? This stuff was in the trunk. I don't know if you need any stuff out of it. Yeah. One goes on the trunk. I mean, two, two of these. This one's on the trunk, trunk, and the outside. Because this one is for reverse. This is right here. That shroud can probably go in the car. We'll throw this rat in there. Let's see what else. That's, that was in the trunk. The guy had it in there. So I don't okay. know if you want to take, take yeah, stuff. Yeah, this stuff looks out like this is a wiper motor yes, here. Yes, a wiper motor and you get the coils. I mean, if, you, know, if not, I just one. leave it there. I just or I might need one thing out of it. First place. Six, right? Three, four, 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 six. <laughs> there we go. Three, four, six. I mean, that'll work right now, that's for sure. Cool. Okay, we gotta pop the hood. Two turns. Uh oh. Now I know what Look, just like us, there's our gas can. <laughs> Radio. Okay. Does it work? I never put it in. <laughs> so you said, is this the, this motor has been the one that was in here since you got it, right? Yeah. That looks like a 327. So. No, I think he, according to him, it's a 307. Oh, that would be better. 307. That's, that's a ZZ motor. 307. I think. Yeah. No, three. ZZ motor is a 383. Is that what it is? 383. I never had a 307. 307. Came out. I, my first uh, Chevelle, I had a, a red Chevelle. Yeah. And I had a 307 with factory. Oh, yeah? From factory, yeah. Okay. Cool. So I don't know where this one came from. I don't know. It turns, though, so. That's yeah. Good. Pull that down, Shane. We're going to strap it anyway. Seven years old. Oh yeah. And I said you could paint. He says, Yeah, I got my own shop. I've been had a shop here in Mito Domingo for for the longest. Yeah. I said, Okay. So then he painted two cars. Ah, oh, so you're getting close on this one. Yeah. Is that the original 396? No. No. Okay. The guy who owned it, I met him. Mm -hmm. 40 years old, heart attack. Oh geez. Widowmaker. And something. they had stolen this car from his garage. He found it in the street. Wow. No motor. They took the big block out of it. Yeah. And then he was at my friend's garage and uh, he wasn't feeling good. And uh, my buddy said, You should go to the hospital instead of going home. Yeah. Because you never know what's wrong with you. Right. He went home. Yeah, but she was dead. She had gone to the hospital. Right. Massive heart attack. And he passed away. Yeah, this is a good car. Thanks for showing it to me. I hope you get it done. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Sounds like he's her. Do you want to finish this one or do you want this one gone too? <laughs> How about this one? Oh, that's not even his. That's his friend. Like, you want it? <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's get you guys paid to do some paperwork. <laughs> Well then, thank you. Yeah, oh, that car is amazing, dude. That car is a frank home run. But today is a good day, it's fitting. And Ice Cube was always rapping about an Impala. I think it's so cool that like Ice Cube sang about listening to Too Short, Too Short still around. Great overall interaction. Yeah, he was an awesome dude. And right now, the title's iffy right now. I'll be able to get it fixed, but it could potentially cost me a thousand bucks and like a whole lot of time. So we'll see.
That was good, I got to raise the hitch up. So easy with the power jack. Whew. If you put any of this in the video, if anybody's thinking about buying a Max D trailer, get the power jack. I just raised the hitch up, didn't bust a sweat, didn't do anything but besides pull pins was the hardest work I had to do versus jacking this thing up forever and getting blocks and blah, blah, blah. Messing with the foot thing, trying to get it to lock. Press a button. Work smarter, not harder. It actually ends up being less tongue weight than if you did the big giant steel jack that's a pan winder. Because their new jacks are aluminum. Way overdue for an Impala. So what are you doing? Taking these stupid cowboy boots off. It's croc time. <laughs> Driving in the place. I was driving my Crocs. We wanted to stop and do like some cool stuff on a scenic overlook with the drone and such, but my wife called and I gotta go to the hospital. So we're home with the 62, awesome car, factory convertible, factory white, red gut. It was a bench seat, V8, three on a tree car. It's got 63 buckets in a center console. It's got a 307 and a four speed out of a Chevelle in it. I've got all the trim and everything like that in the bed of my truck. So we expect to have this one running, driving, moving, complete, have the back seat. It'll be a nice, complete project for somebody missing the original powertrain. Will be a great candidate to do like a resto mod on, do an LS motor in this one, or just grab a 327 or a 283, whatever you like. Be cool to put a 409 in it even. Whatever you want, it's it's buyer's choice. So uh, we'll get it into the shop in a couple days. We got a mess here in the yard that I want to clean up a little bit before we get this one into the shop. I got to get to the wife. See you guys shortly. A couple days here, watch some awesome content out. Uh, to give some context to those of you that don't follow me on Instagram, me and my wife are expecting our second baby. We're having a complication, and she's been stuck in the hospital for weeks, and she's gonna be there for like another four or five weeks until we have our baby. She's just having an issue tonight. I just gotta get over there and basically, she's fine, just gonna spend the night. Hey, thanks for watching our video. We really appreciate it, I hope you enjoyed it. If you have cars like these in your garage, if you have a fastback Mustang or convertible Impala, a nice original paint pickup truck or an old cab over truck, and you want to sell it, I'd love to try and put a deal together with you. You can get a hold of me at 412-335-6100. We pay excellent prices. We pay finder's fees. You know, it's no secret. We do make a little money on a YouTube video, so that allows me to pay, you know, sometimes market value or really good prices for these cars. We'd love to come out and drag it out of your barn. We'd love to film it. We'd love for you to be a part of that whole process. So if you have an original paint or an original old fastback mustang that needs work like these ones i have on my trailer or if you have an old pickup or again a convertible impala cab over truck whether it doesn't matter where you are we buy nationwide here in the united states all the way as far as california i've had stuff new mexico arizona oregon washington high desert stuff we love so or if you're in the east coast and it's a rusty mustang or a rusty convertible impala that is fine we typically don't buy many trucks on the east coast but i buy a lot of cars on the east coast if you have cab over parts also especially for these early fords i'd be interested in that it never hurts to send me an email or a text. 
ironcitygarage at gmail.com. You're welcome to send me an email or a text message, probably the best. You kind of get an instant answer that way. 412-335-6100. I'd love to talk to you. Hope you enjoyed the video and uh, hopefully we can make a deal on what you guys have on your farms or in your garages. 